Here, we're gonna talk about two strong indicators that a business is more likely to default on financing. Plus, we'll have a little bonus. I'm Jordan Hansen, I'm from Cobalt Intelligence. We work with business funders that are doing financing, lending, they're helping people get uh, alternative working capital, whatever they need. And this today is with a case study we did with a customer where they assessed 1,800 of the deals they'd funded and they compared it against Secretary of State data to try to draw conclusions on how they could take future actions. So I wanna just review some of that data for you. If you're in this industry at all, I think it could be really helpful so you can understand that what, what fields maybe you should be looking for. So let's start into it. Field number one. If the business had filed one year or less prior to funding the deal, as in they came over to you for financing, capital, whatever, and they'd been in business for less than one year, this was a huge, it, there was a large amount of delinquency in this and default. The difference, in fact, was a normal, if they had filed more than one year after 60 plus days, they had a 14% delinquency rate. If they had been filed less than one year, that jumped up to 24% delinquency. Now, again, this is a disclaimer we should have with all of this. Your business could be different than theirs and likely is. But you had to know that the less a person has been in business, the higher risk there is. We don't know how much, how much confidence you have. And this doesn't mean you shouldn't lend to them or deal financing with them, but something that you should just keep in mind and maybe that rate needs to be a little bit different because you know there's gonna be a higher risk here. 10% more, 14% compared to 24% is the difference. Now, one interesting note with this is that if they filed after funding the deal, as in they hadn't filed when they applied, because this, this funder works with companies that are small as well. And so if they hadn't filed yet, and then they filed after they funded the deal, meaning they funded the deal, they did a check and they saw, okay, I see their filing days after, their default rate was the lowest, 13%. Again, this is only 1,800. So the sample size isn't enormous, but I think it was interesting. I talked back and forth with this customer and they said they thought maybe it could have been because before they file, they're going in there often as themselves. So when you file as a business, you see it as a separate entity and it is more disposable. As in, if they don't file, that's, you know the business will just go bankrupt. It's, there's a corporate veil that will protect me. If they haven't filed yet, then they can go in there and say, oh, this is me. This is my personal guarantee. And not only are they personally more at risk, even if they're signing on as like a guarantor, which most of the time they are with these loans, it still doesn't have the same feel. Maybe it's honor, maybe it's integrity of that person feeling like, oh, I personally did this versus my business did this. So that's item number one. If they had filed for one year or less, then you really should think twice about how you're addressing this customer. Second one is their status. Now we're gonna talk about this in both both in multiple ways their status with the secretary of state is something so when they file with the secretary of state they get a standing that says hey they're active and they have to renew that every year pretty much i think most states some had every two years most states you have to file do a filing fee and some states as well if you don't file your taxes or franchise tax then you go into a not good standing now if you had a negative status in here i'm gonna go get my exact numbers if you had a negative status, meaning you were something like forfeited, delinquent, suspended, non-compliant, and voluntarily terminated, these are counted as negative statuses and versus something that's a positive status is compliant, good standing, active. The default rate after 60 days was 27% versus those with that were positive was a 13% after 60 days. So that's a big difference there, you can see. So if there, these are things why you wanna use the Secretary of State data. You can check to see, you, you know if this person's, they're gonna be a higher risk. If they're, for some reason, they're not keeping up with their filings, then you know that, okay, something's up with this business. I'm not sure why they're not taking care of this, but this sample size, again, this is not perfect. This is just one data point here out of an 1800 sample, but it showed that 27% had a negative status versus only 13% delinquency after 60 days if they had a positive status. Now, again, one interesting thing is if they didn't have a status, if it was a null status, I'm gonna to try to get the clarification here. I'm looking at my notes over here on the side. If they had a null stat, no status, as in they hadn't filed, the same thing, right? This is someone that they actually kind of performed better. 
because they were doing a personal guarantee versus just the business. And so it's more of like a personal loan and otherwise hadn't. And that's kind of the bonus we have with this is that businesses that hadn't filed in this test actually performed better. And again, I just think that comes down to the fact that, hey, they're coming into you and they're saying, hey, I, this is just me. I, I haven't filed the Secretary of State, not because I'm less legitimate, but hey, this is a personal guarantee and it's my more personal credit that's on the line. So there's two strong indicators that a business is more likely to default on financing. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, hit the subscribe, comment, reach out to me if you think you need some help with your Secretary of State data, and we will talk to you later.